but let's go over oh they're all swimming in unison moon of the crescent square <laughs> square of the crescent moon <laughs> being one with the palm Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tommy and welcome to Jurassic Egypt, the magnificent, fenceless, completely fenceless park that we have been building over the span of the past three months. In weekly episodes, there has been 12, there have been, there has been, have been, I don't know, have been 12 episodes of uh, this and I enjoyed building this park immensely until I didn't, but <laughs> it, it it was challenging, especially after I decided not to use any fences whatsoever, so I do have to say that it wasn't like the easiest thing to do, but I love some of the designs that came out of it and I love the natural feeling of it all, so without any further ado, let's check out this park. So. Uh, right off the bat, we start with the Egyptian Ankh, we start with an entrance square, I really wanted to be certain that this feels natural all around, that we have some uh, palms here, I do love these shade lamps over here, because they look like they fit the Egyptian thing very very much. When we look up here, this is the Ankh, like this rich with fountains, rich with vegetation and the guests are not happy when they have to walk but whoop. and we also have a scarab over here which was completely random. I started a random path design and then I was like it looks like a bug so let's actually uh, make a bug out of it and uh, I'm really satisfied with how it turned out uh, over here we have our first guest section, we have our hotels, we only have three hotels in this park. Uh, hopefully all the guests will uh, not be dissatisfied with the accommodation over here, but uh, since the only transport in this park is via the park tours and the cars, uh, we cannot have too many guests at once. So this is a nice nature scenery over here. This is the Spinosaurus skeleton. I like creating these squares with chairs where people can sit. And these sticks also do fit the Egyptian theme very much, I think. Here we have a roundabout with some vegetation. We're not gonna hop on the Jurassic Tour just yet. We're gonna go up over here. And oh, oh, I have to slow down, oh my god. Um, up here we have a pathway or walkway that will take us, okay, I, I will speed up a little bit, a little, 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 that will take us to these garden parts of the park. I don't know why these people, they always walk like this, like ducks in a row, but never mind. So let's explore this area. I wanted this to feel lush with vegetation, with gardens, and with dinosaurs. Here's our first residence. This is the Uoplo, whoop, one again here, the Uoplocephalus, two of them. This one has the ability to walk through palms. This is another one, and there should be, oh, oh, what's happening? What's happening over there? Something's happening. The Cantrosaurus are Oh my god, this is a nice skin! This is a very nice skin! Forgot we had them here. And we also have these Cantrosaurus. It's a Decamp Cretaceous skin variant because I like it a little more than I like uh, the regular Cantrosaurus, I would say. So, we have all of these gardens around. We can actually check. What can we check? We have a viewing tower over here. I will share this park built on Nixus so you can maybe take a look for yourself later on. This is overlooking the valley where our Nigersaurus are. Uh, we'll go there in a second, but first let us go back down over here to this enclosure where we have our resident Coelophysis with a very, very, very tiny small enclosure, but I don't think they need much more because they're very tiny and it was very hard actually uh, placing them in this enclosure because when you put these rocks down and put everything down, it's like... 
you don't have the space for them to land actually okay here we have our Dryosaurus in another section of the park the cutest cuties ever I love this animal so much it's one of my it's one of my ultimate favorites as I decided to this side you can look into the Carnotaurus enclosure can we see any? Yes, we can see some over here. Hello. But we're not going to check that enclosure yet. Oh, we're, oh, okay. I was zoomed out. We are not going to check the enclosure yet. We're checking the gardens at first. However, we do have a viewing gallery. Am I still zoomed out? Okay. We have a viewing gallery over here overlooking the Carnotaurus enclosure. But we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll see everything in this park. So, in another enclosure, we have the Nodosaurus. Oh, I like the skin. Okay, here we have another patch of... Uh, this is just nature because this is too small to be an enclosure. But we can still look in the Carnotaurus enclosure from here. We have a nice rock wall over here so that the Carnotaurus cannot get to us. I was going for the natural feeling and uh, I was inspired by many zoos where they just have rock walls instead of fences. This is the Chasmosaurus exhibit, again bordered only with the fountains. It's sort of my specialty <laughs> to border things with fountains or uh, just planters. Are these gonna interact? Nope. But I love this green skin. Uh, hello! How are you? Okay, to this side we have another carnivore, small carnivore enclosure where we have our resident, uh, resident Proceratosaurus with a nice green skin. Oh, I love this shot. Aren't they cute? Yep, sorry. Okay. Uh, going back, going back, so this is the overview of the whole square that we just looked at. And when we go back down here, let's speed up a little bit, we take the Jurassic Tour. That will take us to our another destination. Destination unknown. Uh, and, 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 when should I slow down? Do we have any? Oh yeah, there they are, the Nigerosaurus, and they're clipping. <laughs> Again, the more dinosaurs you have in a park, or the more things you have in a park, the more they're, they start to, they start to clip. So, uh, this is the Nigerosaurus, hello. And they have the, uh, this nice river over here that's bordered with the rocks and the cars go nearby. I didn't want the cars to go through the enclosure as you usually do, but we will have an enclosure where the cars actually go through the enclosure and uh, there are some sauropods in there as well. So let us go around here to the other side we can have uh, we can take we can get a glimpse into the oranosaurus enclosure with again the camp cretaceous, camp cretaceous variant the camp cretaceous skin because i don't really like the oranosaurus that we have in the game it's known and some of my neighbors have decided to do some repairs in their home. So if you hear some knocking, that's, uh, that's not me. Um, hopefully it's not going to be heard. So you can hop off the tour over here and get to this wonderful square. I can show you the square from up above and the knocking could stop. I mean, hopefully they will stop. Hopefully it's not, you know, like... Hopefully you guys cannot hear it. Anyway, I love this. You can walk between the palms towards the pyramid over here. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. And let's check the view from the pyramid. 
this is the small pyramid. I will have one that is even smaller. And I'm thinking like which way should we go? So let's first check this square over here. It's a this is a pyramid square. Uh, voila. Uh, we have three pyramids. The pyramids should somehow mirror the pyramids from the logo that I created for this part. And we can check the raptor enclosure over here. We have a few viewing galleries. And here we have a nice red raptors around, running around. And they have these lights because in the night you can actually, these are supposed to be like moon pools with blue lights. So that's why I gave lights. I put lights in their enclosure. And the border of this enclosure is made with these sticks and rocks sticks and stones <laughs> they almost broke my bones when i was building and oh my god it was excruciating i mean never again i'm not ever doing this magnitude of something again i mean in my upcoming uh, jurassic uh, greece we will have enclosures again that are um completely fenceless but uh, it's a smaller park. This one, this one was huge and I kind of regretted it. You can hop on to another tour over here that will reveal to us the Iguanodon enclosure. In a desert, we need to have Iguanodon. Blame the movie Dinosaur for this notion. <laughs> And uh, I love the yellow skin on the Iguanodon. I hope, I really do hope that the knocking from the neighbor stops right now. And if they can hear me, please. Uh, hopefully they can. <laughs> and uh, uh, the tour continues over here. And uh, there's a view of the a lagoon that we have in this park so we can follow the tour path and maybe get a glimpse of the nope they're not here okay so let's leave it for later and we get off and we find ourselves at the uh, the square of the crescent moon. So this square is again inspired by the ancient Egypt where you can see moon at certain places or literally quite everywhere. We have uh, Paracerolophus over here. I love the orange skin for the Paracerolophus. Not so much this one, but yeah, I tried, I tried. We should also have Brachiosaurus somewhere over here. Oh yeah, there they are. This is the Brachiosaurus. We have the green one. I love the green one. And then we have the red ones which are not that fascinating. I love the green one more, but they are interacting because they love each other. <laughs> okay, let's check the let's check the lagoon and let's actually check the square of the crescent moon because I also like how it looks from down here. I'm trying to be very quick because we still have so much so much to so, so many things and places to visit, but let's go over oh, they're all swimming in unison. Uh, so this is the Lyopleurodon, my favorite marine reptile, unpopular opinion, very unpopular opinion, I know, but uh, I do love this creature. I mean, I love how crocodilian it looks, I love how uh, scary it is, and how monstrous it is, and uh, I will show you this uh, bit during the night because there's lights, there's decorations under the sea. Da -da 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 under the sea. Okay, so where do we go next? This is the raptor exhibit from the other side. And uh, let's let's go with the tour so we can get back to the Jurassic tour go over here and look into this enclosure where we have one of my favorite ceratopsids and that's the pentaceratops and they're all again at 
one place. Clipping. I love this skin for the Pentaceratops. Don't know which one that is, but I love it. I also love this red one. Not so much the green one, but yeah, whatever. Let's uh, go back to our tour and in the next enclosure on our tour you can see the River Nile Delta and here we have our nice Tsukimimus. My favorite, I think Tsukimimus might be my number one favorite animal in the game. No kidding. I mean I just I just love this animal. I love the design. I love everything about it. It's just so nice. And the whole thing looks like uh, this. So we came from, I will show you, we came from here. This is the moon of the crescent square. Uh, Square of the Crescent Moon. <laughs> uh, then we have, the, then we went, you know, like over here. This is the Pentaceratops enclosure, and this is where we can get off, actually. But we will not get off just just yet. We can go around this uh, around this river delta, that the, the river that goes nowhere. But yeah, the map was ending. So what could I do? <laughs> I mean. And visit the Tsukimimus enclosure. And when we go back, I want to go back actually because uh, this is just the first tour. And we can go all the way back with this tour to our first pyramids. And actually hop off. Because we can check the Aranosaurus enclosure or we can go to another Jurassic tour from here that will take us to an enclosure that we have already glimpsed into and that's the Carnotaurus uh, Canyon. Yeah, that's how I called it, the Carnotaurus Canyon. Uh, Carnotaurus is one of my favorite animals as well. I'm not really sure if uh, Carnotaurus or Tsukumimus is my current number one. I mean, I love the Allosaurus, I still do love the Allosaurus, but I'm kind of over it. I'm not really sure right now, but uh, Carnotaurus will always have a special place in my heart. And again, it's the desert and I blame the movie Dinosaur, but we need to have a Carnotaurus in the desert. I did a wrong wall over here. I highly advise against it because it takes all your nerves to actually create something like that. It's just like... It's excruciatingly long and uh, if you've watched this series you'll know you'll know how, how I used to you know like get all cranky about it and uh, but the end result looks very nice and I'm very very satisfied with it okay so here we have uh, the square of the uh, I have to show it from the other side this is the eye of the Horus I really, really, really wanted to have the Eye of the Horus. You can hop off over here and hop on another tour that we will get to in a second, but we can also continue the previous tour. This whole park is riddled with tours. Uh, we can have a nice rest over here and look into the Carcharodontosaurus enclosure and we see a tail. We see, we, yeah, there he is, there he is. But we will visit the Carcharodontosaurus later on. I do love this pathway to the park tour and you can go all the way to the end to the tail. But for now, I really, really, really want to go down here. And down here, we have an enclosure that we will go like right into. I think it's the only enclosure that we're actually in with the cars. Like all the other enclosures were just like go by. But I do believe that the Alamosaurus are very nice and uh, they wouldn't hurt a fly, so here they are. Here they have a nice little oasis with the ginkgo trees. I wanted to, 
I wanted to create something different for their enclosure. I love the skin. I love, oh, and there's another one. Uh, oh, oh my God, I can't. I'll, I'll try to, okay, okay, we're fine. So this one, there, uh, I think most of them are named after the Egyptian cities. If you want to hear all the dinosaur names, oh, oh, they're getting cranky. If you want to hear all the dinosaur names, the tour, by the way, goes around this bent, which I really, really, really do love. If you want to hear all the dinosaur names, they are all listed in episode 12, the last episode in the series finale of the Jurassic Egypt Speedbuild series. And uh, you can get off this uh, tour over here and we're back to the Pyramid Square. So let's go actually back to the Eye of Horus. And from the Eye of Horus, we get to our biggest attraction yet. We're gonna go up the pyramid. So, how this works is that you first go around this bend and you can have a glimpse into the Styracosaurus enclosure over here. Hello Styracos, let's visit them. With a very, very nice red skin. I think it's the Sonoran Desert. Styracosaurus is my number one favorite Ceratopsid. I do have to say. So we follow the tour path down here. And from down here, we go up the pyramid. And the pyramid has multiple layers. So at first we go over here, around this bend. And from this side, we can actually see the Spinosaurus enclosure where there's more pyramids. And from this side, we can basically see the whole park. I will show you like this. And that's not all. Because we still go a little higher. <laughs> what was that? Higher. <laughs> and from up here, you actually get an even better view of the whole park and also the Spinosaurus enclosure. Can we see some Spinosaurus from up here or are they, are they all hiding? Not really sure. So the whole pyramid, let me show you from up above, looks like this. Uh, if you want to see the pyramid build, it was built in episode 9 in the Carcharodontosaurus episode of the Speedbuild series. And once we go back uh, down, we actually go here where we can see the Carcharodontosaurus enclosure. Again, we have a tour that's elevated and is looking down into an enclosure that has rock wall as a border so that no pesky fences are limiting our view of the dinosaurs. There should be two car carros over here. Where's the other one? Where's the, oh yeah, here she is, or he, or they. <laughs> I'm all inclusive on this channel. Um, so, I make this little valley for them with the river and if we follow the tour truck we get to the last section of the park this this is where it loops the last square so we have uh, this square over here with the shops with this nice oh uh, this nice lake view over here looks like this and we can also take this path where we can see oh a sleeping barosaurolophus and this is actually facing the square of the crescent moon to this side it's all very complicated and intricate uh, i will put it up on nexus so that you guys can download it and see for yourself if you like because uh, i'm getting lost here it's just um massive and we also have another fish eating enclosure over here it's uh it's a square i'll show you like this so this is where we hop off 
and this is the baryonyx enclosure and we can also visit this square over here so let's visit the baryonyx enclosure i wanted to give them something extra again so i created these water gardens for them or swampy gardens or whatever it is they're having these the their social interaction while eating i think or maybe not i'm not really sure maybe we missed it anyway so they have this nice circular enclosure again border with the rocks we have two skins i don't really like this dark one but i do like this uh this yellow one if only it had the blue patch i still don't know like which baryonyx skin is which so you'll have to forgive me to the other side we have a square that's mirroring the first one we have a lot of spinosaurus skeletons that should foreshadow what's in the final enclosure of this park so this is the final square this is by the way where the Sukumimus uh, enclosure is and you can actually this is where you can hop off the tour and visit the square and from this square we have one viewing gallery overlooking the enclosure for the Spinosaurus we have one over here we have one over here one over here I will show you all five and uh, here we actually do have two viewing galleries and one viewing tower overlooking this whole valley we have three more pyramids over here we have a river we have an oasis so let's check the spinosaurus so this is with the view from the pyramid you can see them from the pyramid and i love this red one i named her isis she's the queen she's the greatest revelation that I ever had in this game because this skin it's a sonoran desert and pilophylax it is just the best combination ever I mean she's wow deadly then we have this one this is I think it might be Anubis I named them after the Egyptian gods uh, we should have a green one as well somewhere <gasps> these are going to interact I love the Spinosaurus interaction. Okay, let's uh, actually find the rest. Where's the rest? I love it when they walk up the when they walk up the the pyramid. Oh, and this is the green one. I also do love this green one. I think I named him Set. Again, you can uh, you can find all the names listed. I went through them all in the last episode. No, this is Anubis, the one with the red skull. And this one is, I think this is Osiris. Should be, not really sure. Looking down into the valley. They're having an existential crisis. <laughs> Being one with the palm. <laughs> anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally came to the end of the tour end of the park this is how it all looks from up above from this side this these are the pyramids this is the this is the uh, spinosaurus enclosure this is the sukumimus pentaceratops baryonyx this is the uh square of the crescent moon the lagoon the iguanodon uh, igu yeah iguanodons i'm sometimes afraid that i'm referring to them as iguanas instead of iguanodons but Never mind, this is the Kakarodontosaurus Valley, this is the Styracosaurus enclosure, this is the Alamosaurus, uh, this is the Carnotaurus, uh, these, uh, this is the Raptor enclosure, these are the Gardens, and, and there's just, uh, that, that, somewhere over there, over the rainbow, somewhere over these rocks, it should be the, yeah, this is the Nigerosaurus enclosure, and this is the um, Oranosaurus enclosure. So I really do hope that you like the showcase, and uh, I will put this park 
on Nexus so you can download it, you can check it for yourself because it really is a very intricate and I feel like I haven't shown you everything. I might not have, I'm not really sure. I will show you the blueprint, oh of course, Peter, and I guess it's the raptors. Of course it's the raptors! Of course it's the raptors and we have a dead dinosaur. Carnage, why? Decaying. <laughs> Aww, poor thing. Start to, how did you starve to death? You have enough goat over here. Anyway, I will show you the blueprint uh, so you can see that there is no fence, not a single fence in the whole park, but we have one, we have one, two, three, four, just four? Yeah, four, but very massive for massive park tours over here and this video is getting very long so i will start saying my goodbyes with some final looks at the park so thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this video for watching this tour this concludes our whole chapter in our park building series this was jurassic egypt and uh, i'm sad and glad it's over <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna miss this build because it, it, it was magnificent and I enjoyed it very much, but it's time to say goodbye. So I will say, so I will also say my goodbye. So thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a like, comment, or share with your friends. And if you think that you will like my upcoming content that will be full of crazy builds like these, please do consider subscribing. It'll help support the channel and I will be very, very grateful. And uh, the last thing left for me to say is thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tommy. I do hope that you have the greatest of the days. And uh, I hope that I will see you here next time. But till the next time, bye-bye.